morning everyone today's topic is non aqueous solvents most of the chemical reaction are carried out in solution and the behavior of substances also depend upon the nature of the solvent in the earlier days of development of chemistry the reaction had been carried out only in one solvent namely water it has been facilitated by its ready as long liquid range 0 to 100 degrees celsius high dielectric constant 78.5 specific heat heat of volatilization dipole moment etc water is neutral odorless non toxic and non poisonous it can therefore be handled safely the properties of water make it an excellent and useful solvent for a large variety of substances in fact the excellent properties of water have hindered the development of non aqueous solvent the solvents other than water which are used for carrying out chemical reaction are called non aqueous solvents attempt have been to find some other substances which would could be as good solvent like water organic chemists have been using many solvents such as benzene carbon tetrachloride acetone ether etc for dissolving organic compounds which are insoluble in water now there are many other solvents available for example liquid ns3 s2so4 liquid hf liquid sulfur dioxide etc has been frequently used in the present unit we shall discuss briefly the important features of non aqueous solvent such as ns3 and so2 physical properties of solvent and their role in chemical reaction the usefulness of a solvent is determined from its some specific properties that may help to carry out the chemical reaction and separate the product more conventionally some of the important physical property of the solvents are discussed below first melting point and boiling point liquid range the melting and boiling point of a solvent determine the temperature range within which the solvent can exist in the liquid state under atmospheric pressure since most of the reaction in a solvent system are carried out in liquid phase the melting point and boiling point give the temperature range within which the solvent is useful the melting and boiling point for some common salt solvents were given in table point 1 melting point and boiling point of some common solvent solvent s2 melting point 0.0 degree celsius boiling point 100 degree celsius solvent ns3 melting point minus 77.7 degree celsius boiling point minus 33.4 degree celsius solvent hf minus 89.3 melting point minus 19.5 boiling point SO2 uh, solvent SO2 minus 75.5 melting point minus 10.2 boiling point CS3 COOH solvent 16.6 melting point 118.1 boiling point HCO CN CS3 twice DMF melting point minus 61.0 boiling point 153.0 solvent S2SO4 100% melting point 10.4 boiling point 300.0 it is clear from the above table that water has excellent liquid in 0 to 100 degree celsius at ordinary temperature and pressure acetic acid can also act as solvent at ordinary temperature while ns3 and so2 can act as solvent only at low temperature second heat of fusion and heat of vaporization the value of heat of fusion and heat of vaporization has to know the nature and throw and the strength of forces which hold the molecules of the solvent together in the solid or the liquid state as we know the amount of heat absorbed by one mole of substance to change from solid to liquid state is called its molar heat of fusion similarly the heat absorbed by one mole of the substance to change from liquid to vapor state is called its smaller heat of vaporization larger the value of heat of fusion or heat of vaporization the stronger are the intermolecular binding forces in the solid or the liquid respectively therefore the magnitude of molar heat of fusion and molar heat of vaporization gives us some insight into the nature and strength of the intermolecular forces and this also determine the solvent properties a better better idea of the intermolecular forces in a solvent is obtained by ratio of molar heat of vaporization 
to the boiling point. This ratio is called total constant. Delta H evaporation by dTb is equal to total constant. For normal liquids, if molar heat of vaporization are expressed in calorie and boiling point in absolute scale 0 Kelvin, then the total constant has the value 21.5 if del H evaporation are in joules total constant in about 90 for normal liquid. Such liquid exist as independent molecules without any bonds between them. A higher value of total constant indicate associated molecules. For example, common solvent like water, ammonia, hydrogen, fluoride have total constant value greater than 21.5 and R. Therefore, associated liquids, the molecule of these liquids are polar. The associated of polar molecules is due to their tendency to orient themselves so that the positively charged end of the molecules come near to each other. The molar heat of fusion and vaporization of sub-solvent are given in table 2. Table 2 molar heat of fusion and vaporization of some solvent. Solvent molar heat of fusion kilojoule mole inverse molar heat of vaporization kilojoule mole inverse solvent water 6.0 molar heat of fusion 40.65 molar heat of vaporization solvent ammonia 5.65 molar heat of fusion 23.56 molar heat of vaporization sulfur dioxide solvent molar heat of fusion 7.40 molar heat of vaporization 24.94 solvent hydrogen fluoride molar heat of fusion 4.58 molar heat of vaporization 13.26 the inspection of table 2 show the value of molar heat of fusion for more water and al Ammonia are almost this means that the force which hold molecules together in water and ammonia are of same magnitude. Third, the electric constant. This property is a measure of the polar nature of the solvent and help to estimate the solubility of polar or non-polar substances in the solvent. According to Columbic law, the forces of attraction between two charged ions is given by F is equal to Q plus Q minus divided by epsilon naught r square where q plus and q minus are the charges of the cation and the anion respectively r is the distance between them equal to the radius of the ion epsilon is a constant called the dielectric constant of the solvent if epsilon is large the force f will be small as a result only small amount of energy will be required to separate the ions and hence will be easy to dissolve an ionic substance Thus, in solvent of high dielectric constant, the ionic substance will dissolve readily. With the increase in dielectric constant, the solubility of ionic substance will decrease. Dielectric, dielectric constant of some common solvents are given in table 3. Dielectric constant of some common solvents. Solvents as to dielectric constant 81.7 at 18 degrees Celsius. Solvent NS3. Dielectric constant 22.0 at minus 33.5 degrees Celsius. Solvent SO3. Uh, dielectric constant 17.3 at minus 16 degrees Celsius. CS3COH solvent 9.7. Dielectric constant at 18 degrees Celsius. HF solvents 83.6 at 10, 0 degrees Celsius. HCN 123 at 16 degrees Celsius. TMF 36.7 at 25 degrees Celsius, S2SO4 100 at 25 degrees Celsius. It is clear that solvent like HF and S2 are good solvent for ironing and polar compound because of their dielectric constant values. On the other hand, solvent like NS3 and SO2 with small value of dielectric constant show decreased tendency to dissolve ionic compounds and especially those containing multi-charged ion. For example, carbonates, sulfates, and phosphates are practically insoluble in liquid ammonia or liquid sulfur dioxide. For the di dipole moment, the dipole moment is related to the dielectric constant of the solvent. An ionizing solvent has large dipole moment and has to also has to a large dielectric constant. It is relative to the polarity of the bond in the molecular. Greater the polarity of the bond in the molecule. Larger is its dipole moment. Solvents of high dipole moment have greater tendency to dissolve the polar or ionic substances. This is because of the fact that the greater polarity result in strong bond between the solvent and the solute molecules and large solvation energy is released. There is large solvation energy 
overcome the lattice energy in the solute molecules and help in dissolving the solute. Fifth viscosity. It is a measure of the fluidity of the solvent. Solvent like water, ethyl alcohol and carbon tetrachloride have low viscosity and are highly fluid and flow rapidly under ordinary temperature. On the other hand, anhydrous sulfuric acid and high molecular weight hydrocarbon have high viscosity and flow at much lower rates at ordinary condition. In solvents of low viscosity, the operation such as precipitation, crystallization, filtration, etc. can be easily carried out without any difficulty with increasing the viscosity of a liquid increase the difficulty of such operation types of solvent non aqueous solvents have been classified in many ways the following are the important classification based upon the chemical properties of the solvent first protonic and non protonic solvent second acidic basic or amphiprotic solvent third ionizing and non ionizing solvents Fourth, coordinating and non-coordinating solvent. First, protonic and non-protonic solvents. Protonic and non-protonic solvent. The solvents from which protons can be derived are called protonic solvent. They, therefore, protonic solvents contain ionizable hydrogen. Common example are H2O, HF, H2SO4, HCN. The solvent from which protons cannot be ordinarily derived are called non-protonic solvent. These are also called aprotic solvent. Contain ion aprotic solvent in other words these solvent do not contain ionizable hydrogen atoms some common example are liquid so2 and to 4 c6 h6 hcl3 ccl4 second acidic basic or amphiprotic solvent there this classification based upon the acidic or basic behavior of solvent the solvent which have a strong tendency to donate protons are acidic in nature and are called acidic solvent or protogenic solvent for example h2so4 liquid hydrogen fluoride acetic acid etc solvent which has strong tendency to accept proton and are basic in nature are called basic or protophilic solvent for example liquid ammonia pyridine, hydrazine, ethylene diamond, the solvent which neither have strong tendency to gain nor a strong tendency to lose proton are called amphiprotic or amphiprotic solvent. In other words, they neither have strong acidic nor basic but behave as say, acid as well as basic depending upon the nature of the reacting species. For example, water, ethyl alcohol, methyl alcohol, etc. Third, ionizing and non-ionizing solvents. The solvents which are capable of undergoing self-ionization are called ionizing solvents. Some common examples are H2O, NS3, HF, SO2, NO4, ClF3, BrF3, POCl3, etc. This ionized is shown below. H2O plus H2O gives H3O positive plus OH negative, NS3 plus NS3 gives NH4 plus NS2 negative, HF plus HF gives H2F positive plus F negative, SO2 plus SO2, SO2 positive plus SO3 2 negative, NO4 gives NO positive plus NO3 negative, ClF3 plus ClF3 gives ClF2 plus ClF4 negative, POCl3 plus POCl3 gives POCl2 plus POCl4 negative. These solvents are generally polar or ionic in nature. On the other hand, the solvent which do not ionize at all are non-ionizing solvents. Some common examples are benzene, carbon tetrachloride, hydrocarbon, etc. These are non-polar or ionic in nature. Fourth, coordinating and non-coordinating solvent. The solvent which are capable of coordinating with the metal ion or anion of the solute are called coordinating solvent. For example, NS3, SO2, dimethyl sulfoxide, acetonitrile, dimethyl formadine, and nitromethane, etc. On the other hand, the solvent which are not capable of coordinating with the metal ion or anions of the solute are called non-coordinating solvent. For example, CCL4, saturated hydrocarbon, etc. These are not of much interest to inorganic chemist. Type of reaction in non-aqua solvents. The following type of reaction commonly occur in non-aqua solvent. First, metathetical or precipitation reaction. The reaction in which precipitation occur on mixing two solutions are called metathetical or precipitation reaction. This type of reaction can be predicted if the values of the solubility product of the compounds formed in the solvent are known. This value depends upon the nature of the solvent used. For example, in water, silver nitrate of 
एंड बेरियम क्लोराइड रिएक्ट टू गिव ए प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ सिल्वर क्लोराइड हैविंग बेरियम नाइट्रेट इन दी सोल्यूशन टू ए जी एन ओ थ्री प्लस बी ए सी एल टू गिव टू ए जी सी एल प्रेसिपिटेट प्लस बी ओ ए एन ओ थ्री ट्वाइस ऑन द अदर हैंड द लिक्विड अमोनिया ए प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ सिल्वर क्लोराइड कम्बाइंस विद बेरियम नाइट्रेट टू गिव प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ बेरियम क्लोराइड लिविंग सिल्वर नाइट्रेट इन सोल्यूशन टू ए जी सी एल प्लस बी ए एन ओ थ्री ट्वाइस लिक्विड एन एस थ्री बी ए सी एल टू प्लस टू ए जी एन ओ थ्री देर फॉर रिवर्सल ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन टेक प्लेस ऑन चेंजिंग द सोलवेंट सिमिलर दिस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज हाईली सोल्यूबल इन वाटर बट इट कैन बी प्रेसिपिटेड इन वाटर सोल्यूबल कॉपर सल्फेट में भी प्रेसिपिटेट इन एनहाइड्रोस एसिडिक एसिड सेकेंड चार्ज फॉर्मेशन द रिएक्शन बिटवीन एप्रोप्रिएटिक एसिडिक एंड बेसिक रेस्पॉन्स टू फॉर्म चार्ज एज बाई चार्ज फॉर्मेशन रिएक्शन इन सच रिएक्शन द सर्वेंट यूज मस्ट बी वन इन यूज सच एप्रोप्रिएट एसिड एंड बेस कैन एग्जिस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम यूराइड कैन इट प्रिपिटेड बाय द रिएक्शन ऑफ द यूरिया ऑन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इन वाटर इट इज बिकॉज द स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस अवेलेबल इन वाटर विल नॉट टेक टेक ए प्रोटीन फ्रॉम यूरिया मॉलिक्यूल इन अदर वर्ड्स द सोडियम साल्ट ऑफ यूरिया इज अनस्टेबल इन वाटर एंड यूराइड आयन विल टेक ए प्रोटीन फ्रॉम वाटर टू फॉर्म हाइड्रोक्साइड आयन एन ए पॉजिटिव एन एच सी ओ एन एच टू नेगेटिव सोडियम यूराइड प्लस एच सी ओ टू गिव एन ए पॉजिटिव ओ एच नेगेटिव प्लस एन एच टू सी ओ एन एच टू यूरिया हाव एवर द साइड कैन बी इजली फॉर्म दिन लिक्विड अमोनिया सोल्यूशन बाय द रिएक्शन ऑफ यूरिया विथ स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस सोडामाइड एन एच टू सी एन एच टू यूरिया प्लस एन ए एन एच टू सोडामाइड टू गिव एन ए पॉजिटिव एन एच सी ओ एन एच टू सोडियम यूराइड प्लस एन एच टू थर्ड एसिड बेस रिएक्शन द एसिड बेस रिएक्शन इन एन एच एस सोलवेंट कैन बी एक्सप्लेन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सोलवेंट सिस्टम कॉन्सेप्ट एज ऑलरेडी लर्न अकॉर्डिंग टू सोलवेंट सिस्टम कॉन्सेप्ट एन एसिडिक सब्सटेंस दैट बाई डायरेक्ट डिसोशिएशन और रिएक्शन विद द सोलवेंट गिव द कैटाइन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सोलवेंट सिमिलरली ए बेस एन एसिड इज सब्सटेंट डेट बाई डायरेक्ट डिसोशिएशन और रिएक्शन विद द सोलवेंट गिव द कैटाइन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सोलवेंट सिमिलरली ए बेस इज अ सब्सटेंस डेट गिवस the acid behavior nature of the solvent the characteristics of the solute and the solute solvent interaction in case of protonic solvent cation is the solvated proton and the bronze state protonic concept concept is same as the solvent system concept for example in liquid ammonia solvent nh4 positive ion act as acid and ns2 ion act as base the neutralization reaction is nh4cl acid plus nans2 base gives nacl salt plus 2 ns3 solvent in non protonic solvent such as benzene carbon tetrachloride lewis acid behave type of reaction can occur because of non ionization of the solvent the acid base behavior of a solute in a solvent depend upon the acidity or basicity of the solvent for example acidic acid behaves strong acid in ammonia weak acid in water but a base in sulfonic acid ch3coh plus ns2 to give ch3co negative nh4 positive strong acid strong weak acid ch3coh plus s2 gives ch3co negative plus s3o negative ch3coh weak base plus s2so4 gives ch3co s2 positive plus hso4 negative for the solute lytic reaction or solvolysis the reaction is the solvent molecules react with the solvent solute in such a way that the solvent molecules split into two parts one or both which get attached to their solute molecules or ion are called solvolytic reaction since this reaction occurs through self ionization of the solvent the concentration of ether the cation or the anion is changed for example the solvolytic reaction in water ammonia in ethanol are given below water as solvent to s2 gives s3o positive plus oh negative o2 ionization so2 cl2 plus 4s2 gives so2 oh2 plus 2s3 o positive plus 2s cl negative concentration of s2 positive plus is increased f negative plus h2 
gives HF plus OH negative. Concentration of OH negative is increased. Ammonia and solvent to NS3 gives NH4 positive plus 2 NS2 negative auto ionization. SOTCl2 plus 4 NS3 gives SO2 NS2 2 plus 2 NH4 positive plus 2 LCl negative. Uh, H negative plus NS3 gives NS2 negative plus S2. Third alcohol as solvent 2C2H5OH to give C2H5OH2 positive OC2H5O2 ionization. SOCl2 plus 4C2H5OH gives SO2 OC2H5H2 2C2H5OS2 positive plus 2Cl negative. CS3C2 plus C2H5OH gives OC2H5 negative plus CH4. It may be noted that in case of solvent like water, ammonia, alcohol, Alcohol acetic acid etc. The term hydrolysis, ammonolysis, alcoholysis, and acetolysis are used respectively. Fifth solvation the reaction used the molecules of the solvent get attached to a solute species, cation, anion, or molecules are called solvation reaction. The species form is called solvate. The solvation reaction in water, ammonia, alcohol, etc. are called hydronium, ammoniation alkylation and etc and the resulting solvents are called hydrates ammoniates alkylates etc for example cuso4 plus 4ns3 gives cuso4 dot 4ns3 ammoniate cucl2 plus 4s2 gives cus2 4 twice 2 positive to cl negative bso4 plus 3s2so4 gives bso4 plus 3s2so4 Subweight of sulfuric acid. Solvation of a cation occurs through an ion dipole interaction between the positive cation and the negative end of the dipole or through coordinate bond in which the solvent molecules donate a pair of electrons to the cation. On the other hand, solvation of anion occurs through an ion dipole interaction between the negative ion and the positive end of the Solon dipole or through hydrogen bonding in case of solvent such as water, ammonia or hydrogen fluoride. It may be noted that in certain case it is difficult to distinguish between solvation and solvolysis because in many solvolytic reaction the first step consists of solvation reaction. However, the term solvation used for those reaction in which the solvent molecules remain in the resulting product. Let us discuss some reaction into common non aqueous solvents liquid ammonia liquid ammonia is one of the most extensively studied non aqueous solvents it is now used as a highly useful solvent and, and a reaction medium for many types of organic and inorganic synthesis comparison of properties of liquid ammonia and water the comparison of properties of liquid ammonia and water reveals the following points first liquid range the melting and boiling point of liquid ammonia are lower than those of water in liquid ammonia the liquid range is from minus 77 to minus 33 degrees celsius and therefore it presents some handling problem therefore some precautions have to be taken while using liquid ammonia as a solvent, it is generally handled in cooled vessel and nowadays wide range of techniques have been advanced for handling it. Second, hydrogen bonding. Like water, liquid ammonia is an associated solvent through hydrogen bonding because it contains a strongly electronegative element nitrogen. However, ammonia molecules are less strongly associated because nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen and therefore NH bond is weaker than OH O bond. As a result, the freezing point and boiling point of ammonia are less. Since ammonia is less associated than water, it is a better solvent for organic compounds. Third, dielectric constant. The di dielectric constant of ammonia, 22 at minus 33.5 degrees Celsius is lower as compared to water, 78.5 at 25 degrees Celsius, suggesting it less a tendency to dissolve any compounds. Liquid ammonia is therefore a poor solvent for ionic substance. Soluble salts include most ammonium salt, nitrate, thiocyanates, and iodides. Fluorides and many oxy salts are generally insoluble. However, ammonia has lower viscosity than water and this might be expected to promote greater ionic mobilities and therefore compensate to some extent for the extent of dielectric 
constant. Fourth, self-ionization. Both ammonia and water show comparable self-ionization as represented below. 2NH3 gives NH4 positive plus NH2 negative. 2H2 gives at 3O positive plus OH negative. However, the extent of auto-ionization of liquid ammonia is less than that of water. This is clear from its low specific conductance and lower ionic product. K NS3 NH4 positive NS2 negative is equal to 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 23 at minus 50 degrees Celsius. K H2 is equal to S3 O positive plus OH negative is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. Therefore, ammonia can conduct electricity to a feeble extent. Ammonia is a better solvent than water. The following properties of ammonia make it a better solvent than water. First, liquid ammonia is a poor conductor of electricity. Second, the specific heat of ammonia is more than that of water. Third, the liquid ammonia is less viscous than water. Most salt, when dissolved in liquid ammonia, conduct electric current than in water. Better than in water, this is not due to ionizing power of ammonia, which is about 1 by 3 of water, but due to low viscosity, which is greatly increased the mobility of the ions. Fourth, liquid ammonia has high critical temperature and pressure. Fifth, it is less acidic than water due to less hydrogen bonding and therefore is a better solvent for organic compound. Liquid ammonium forms from reducing metal ammonia solution with alkali metal. Therefore, it is an excellent solvent for many reduction reaction. Reaction in liquid ammonia. As mentioned earlier, the amo ammonia has water-like property as a solvent. It is therefore expected that the reaction which takes place in aqua solution can also occur in ammonia solution. Some of the important chemical reactions occurring in liquid ammonia are given below. Acid-based reaction. Acid-based reaction in liquid ammonia can be easily undergoed by comparing the reaction in water. To as to give as CO positive plus OH negative. According to servant system concept of acid and basis, the substance producing H3O positive ion in water act as acid while those producing OH negative ion act as base. To NH3 gives NH4 positive plus NH2 negative. Therefore, the substance producing ammonia ions in liquid ammonia behave as acid while those producing amide ions behave as base. For example, ammonia salts such as ammonium halides Thiocyanates, nitrates are soluble in liquid ammonia and behave as acid. NH4Cl gives NH4 positive plus Cl negative. Similarly, amides, imides and nitrites behave as base in liquid NH3. The common sheet base in liquid ammonia is potassium amide. KNS2 which ions as KNS2 give K positive plus NH2 negative. Lithium amide, sodium amide and alkanyl and metal amides have a very low solubility and therefore KNS2 is the compound sheet base in liquid NS3. Protolysis Certain compounds like urea, cetamide, sulfide, etc., which are incapable of donating protons to water, can readily donate protons to NS3 in liquid ammonia. This reaction are called protolysis. Hence, these compounds act as acid in liquid ammonia. Urea plus NS3 to gives NS2 C double bond O plus NH4 positive. CS3 single bond C double bond O single bond NS2 plus NS3 to give CS3 C double bond O C NH negative plus NH4 positive. Sulfamide uh, plus NS3 to give NS2 negative NS2 S double bond O NH4 positive. Sulfamic acid behaves a diabetic in liquid ammonia NS2 OH S. Double bond O plus 2NH3 gives NH negative O S double bond O plus 2NH4 positive. Sulfamic acid behaves as diabasic in liquid ammonia. However, it behaves as monobasic in aqua solution because NH3 group cannot donate proton to water. NH2HOS double bond O per, per plus S2 gives NH2S double bond O plus H3O positive. Sulfamic acid behaves as monobasic in aqua solution. Acid based neutralization in aqua solution, the process of neutralization of a strong acid and a strong base involves the combination of H2O positive and OH negative to form an ionized water. For example, the neutralization of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide may be expressed as HCl plus NH gives NaCl plus H2O, H3O 
positive plus OH negative gives H2H2O. In a similar way, the neutralization of NH3 dynabasing liquid ammonia involves the combination of NH4 positive ion and NH2 ion negative ion. NH4Cl plus KNH2 to give KCl plus 2NH3 in the presence of liquid ammonia. And NH4 positive plus NH2 gives 2NH3 in presence of liquid NH3. There are many examples of amphotonic behavior in liquid ammonia. The compounds that dissolve both in acid and base are called amphotonic substance, for example, liquid ammonia. Zinc amides show amphotonic behavior analogous to that of zinc hydroxide in aqueous solution. As a base, ZN NS2 twice 2NH4Cl gives ZNCl2 plus 4NH3. As an acids, ZNNS3 twice plus 2KNS2 gives K2ZNNS2 four twice. The acid gives NS4 positive ions and bases give NS2 ions in liquid ammonia. They are termed ammono acid and ammono base. Reaction of ammono acids. Ammonia acid is a substance that furnishes NH4 positive ion in liquid ammonia. Ammonia halide nitrate or thiocyanate are well soluble in liquid ammonia. Give NH4 positive ion and their concentrated solution act as ammonia acid. We know that acid gives hydrogen with metal in aqueous solution. In a similar way, the ammonia acid solution ammonia salt in liquid and acid react with alkali and other metal to give hydrogen. 2Na plus 2NH4Cl to give 2NHCl plus 2NH3 plus H2O. Mg plus 2NH4 to give MgCl2 plus 2NH3 plus H2O. A saturated solution of ammonium. Nitrate in ammonia also dissolve many metal oxide similar to their behavior in aqueous acid. Na2O plus 2NH4Cl to give NHCl2 NH3 plus H2O. COO plus 2NH4Cl to give COCl2 plus 2NH3 plus H2O. Mg2Si plus 4NH4Br to give SiH4 and 2MgBr2 plus 4NH3. Na3As plus 3NH4Br to give ASH3 plus 2NaBr plus 3NH3. Reaction of ammonia bases. Ammonia bases is a substance which in liquid ammonia salt gives NH3 negative ion. The common sheet base is potassium amide which is much more soluble than lithium and sodium amides. Metal salts react with ammonia bases to give amides, amides and nitrates which get precipitated in liquid ammonia. AgNO3 plus KNS2 to give KNO3 plus AgNS2. PBI2 plus KNS2 give KPBNH plus Ki plus HI. BII3 plus KNS2 give BIN plus Ki plus 2HI. 3G HGI2 plus 6KNS2 to give SG3 and 2 plus KI plus 4NS3. Precipitation reaction inverse double decomposition because of the difference in the solubility of various substances in water and liquid ammonia. A largest number of precipitation reactions which are not normally possible in water have been reported to occur in liquid ammonia. For example, silver chloride is precipitated in aqueous solution as KCl plus AgNO3 to give AgCl KNO3. Similarly, a white precipitate of BaCl is produced when solute of silver chloride and barium nitrate in liquid ammonia are brought together to AgCl plus BaNO3 to give BaCl to AgNO3. Lithium chloride may be precipitated by the reaction of ammonium chloride and lithium chlo nitrate in liquid ammonia. NH4Cl plus LiNO3 to give LiCl plus NH4NO3. Second, iodides and bromides get precipitated when solution of various nitrates and ammonia halide in liquid ammonia are mixed together. ZnNO3 twice plus 2NHI to give ZnI2 plus 2NH4NO3. SrNO3 twice plus 2NH4 get to gives SrBr2 plus 2NH4NO3 in the presence of liquid ammonia. Third, many metal sulfide can be precipitated in liquid ammonia by ammonium sulfate from the nitrate solution of the metals. NH42S plus 2AgNO3 to give Ag2S plus 2NH4NO3. NH4 twice S plus CuNO3 to CuS2H NH4NO3. Huh? Or 
It has a wide legume range and can be used as a solvent. It can be easily purified by passing the pass through gastro sulfuric acid and through PTO O5 to remove traces of water. In dielectric constant is small and therefore is a good solvent for covalent bonding. Structure of sulfur dioxide molecule electron difference study have been shown that sulfur dioxide in gases phase has the angular structure as shown below. The valence bond theory predicts that the SOT molecules in a resonance hybrid of the following two resonating structure. Solubility of compound in liquid sulfur dioxide. Amongst the inorganic compounds, the iodides and thiocyanates are most stable. In case of alkali metal halides, the solubility are in the order Mi greater than MBr greater than MCl MF. The uninegative polyatomic anions such as ClO4 negative and 3 negative B4 negative etc. are generally more soluble in liquid SO2. As art of multi negative anions such as SO4 to negative, SO3 to negative, S2O3 negative etc. are practically insoluble. Many of the ammonium, thallium, and mercuric salts are soluble. It is an excellent solvent for covalent compound. Many covalent substances like halogens, interhalogens, Oxyhalides of soluble phosphorus, etc., and halides are soluble in it. Metals are insoluble in liquid SO2. Amongst the organic compounds, aromatic hydrocarbon and alkenes have very high solubility in liquid SO2 in comparison to saturated hydrocarbon. Pyridine, quinoline, ethers, halogen derivatives, and acid chlorides also dissolve in liquid SO2. Many compounds dissolve in liquid SO2 due to solvate formation. For example, Ki4SO2. Ci2, 4SO2, KSC, and SO2. Many donut molecules also form stable most solvent with SO2, for example, SO2, BF3, dot SO2, etc. Auto ionization of SO2, pure SO2 is a poor conductor of electricity. Though it is believed that it at auto ionizes S2SO2 to give SO2 to positive SO3 to negative. The thionyl ions is analogous to the hydronium ion and ammonium ion and sulfonate ion corresponding hydroxy and amine ion of the aqueous and ammonium system respectively. Reaction in liquid sulfur dioxide acid base reaction. Liquid SO2 undergoes SO2 auto ionization as 2SO2 to give SO2 positive plus SO3 to negative. According to solvent system concept of acid and base, the compounds which give thionyl ions in, in solution of SO2 would behave as acid, whereas compounds give sulfite ion in liquid SO2 and would act as base. For example, compounds such as SOCl. 2 SOBr2 etc. act as acid in liquid SO2. SOCl2 to give SO2 positive plus 2 Cl negative. SOBr2 to give SO2 positive plus 2 Br. On the other hand, cesium sulfide increase the concentration of sulfide and, and therefore be used as base. CS2SO3 to give 2 SCS plus CSO3 to negative. Typical acid base on neutralization reaction liquid SO2 may be given as SOCl2 plus CS2SO3 to give CSCl plus 2 SO2. SOBr2 plus 2 NSCS3 4 S2 SO3 to give uh, 2 N NCH3 4 Br plus 2 SO2 SOSCN2 plus K2SO3 to give KSCN plus 2 SO2. Amphotic behavior is shown by zinc second and aluminum third ions. For example, AlCl3 react with SO3 to negative and liquid SO2 form insoluble aluminum sulfide. However, if the precipitate is treated with excess of sulfide, the precipitate and Red dissolves to AlCl3 plus K2SO3 to give Al2SO3 plus 6 KCl. Al2SO3 thrice the Kl2SO3 to give K3 AlSO3. 3 the re this reaction is analogous to behavior of LOS3 thrice in water. AlCl3 plus 3 NOS to give LOS3 plus 3 NaCl. Al2S2 plus NS to give NaLOH4. If some acid associate is added to the soluble complex solution, the aluminum sulfide deprecipitate. Solubilitic reaction. Solubilitic reaction in liquid sulfur dioxide are not as common as they are in other protein solvents such as NS3. Some reactions are given below. Ammonia citrate is soluble in liquid SO2. This reaction is as allowed to the reaction of ammonia acetate in water. Certain covalent halides such as PCL5, PBR5, UCL6, ASCL5, V, WCL6 undergo solubilis in liquid SO2 in sealed tube. PCL5 plus SO2 to give POCL3 
प्लस एस ओ सी एल टू पी बी आर फाइव प्लस आर टू एस ओ टू गिव पी ओ बी आर थ्री प्लस एस ओ बी आर टू पॉजिटिव मैनी बाइंडरी हेलाइट सच एस एस बी सी एल थ्री एस बी सी एल टू एस आई सी एल फोर एस एन सी एल फोर बी सी एल थ्री एक्सेट्रा डू नॉट अंडर गो सर्वलिस इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड थर्ड प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन कैन बी कैरिड आउट इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड ड्यू टू सेलेक्टिव सोलिबिलिटी ऑफ कंपाउंड प्रेसिपिटेशन ऑफ सर्वल इन सोलिबल कंपाउंड इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड कैन बी कैरिड आउट बाई ट्रीटिंग विद सोलिबल कंपाउंड इन सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड सम ऑफ दिज आर एस बी सी एल थ्री प्लस थ्री एल आई आई टू गिव एस बी आई थ्री प्लस एल आई सी एल पी बी एफ टू प्लस एल आई टी एस एफ फोर टू गिव पी बी एस एफ फोर टू एल आई एफ एल सी थ्री प्लस थ्री एन ए आई टू गिव एन ए सी एल प्लस एल ए ए एल आई थ्री बी आई आई टू प्लस जेड एन टू सी एन एस फोर बी गिवस बी ए सी एन एस प्लस जेड आई एन आई टू के आई प्लस एस ओ सी एल टू गिव के सी एल एस ओ आई टू Complex formation reaction. A large number of complex and formation in liquid sulfur dioxide have been reported. For example, the solubility of iodide in liquid sulfur dioxide is greatly increased by the addition of potassium to bind iodide. Ki plus I to give Ki three, RBI plus I to give RBI three, CDI two plus two Ki I to give K two, CD CDI four, HGI two plus two Ki I give K two, HGI four. एस बी सी एल थ्री प्लस थ्री के सी एल टू गिव के थ्री एस बी एस सी एल सिक्स एस बी सी एल फाइव प्लस के सी एल गिव एस के एस बी सी एल सिक्स एस बी सी एल फाइव एन ओ सी एल एन ओ एस बी सी एल सिक्स एस बी सी एल थ्री सी एस थ्री सी ओ सी एल सी एस थ्री सी ओ एस बी सी एल सिक्स ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन इन हैव बीन कैरिड आउट इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड बिकॉज ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड आर सोलबल इन इट इन रिलेटिव इन नॉट सोलबेंट सल्फोनेशन एंड एरोमेटिक हाइड्रोकार्बन बाय सल्फर ट्राइक्साइड और क्लोरोसल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सी सिक्स एच फाइव प्लस एस ओ थ्री टू गिव सी सिक्स एच फाइव एस ओ थ्री एच सी सिक्स एच सिक्स प्लस ई एल एस ओ थ्री एच टू गिव सी सिक्स एच फाइव एस ओ थ्री एच एच प्लस एच सी एल लिक्विड एस ओ टू हैज़ आल्सो बीन यूज एज ए सोलवेंट फॉर फूड क्राफ्ट टाइप रिएक्शन इन दिस रिएक्शन ए एल सी थ्री यूज एज ए सोलवेंट विच इज हाईली सोलबल इन लिक्विड एस ओ टू C six H six plus two C five H eleven C L to give T six five C eleven C six H five plus H C L. It is also used as solvent for the addition and substitution of bromine reaction. Stearine plus Br two to give to give liquid as O two presence. Benzene C H C S two Br Br. Sulfur dioxide of crystallization. This reaction are also called solvation reaction. Like water and ammonia, salt having sulfur dioxide of crystallization have also been observed. Redox reaction. The gases sulfur dioxide behaves both as oxidizing and reducing agent. Liquid sulfur dioxide does not show any marked reducing or oxidizing tendency. It simply acts as a medium for certain redox reaction. For example, iodine is liberated from K in the presence of एस बी सी एल फाइव इन लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड टू सिक्स के आई प्लस एस बी सी एल फाइव टू गिव के थ्री एस बी सी एल सिक्स प्लस एस बी सी एल थ्री प्लस थ्री आई टू टू के आई प्लस एफ वी सी एल थ्री टू गिव एफ वी सी एल टू प्लस टू के सी एल प्लस आई टू सम स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ लिक्विड एस टू एज ए सोलवेंट लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड पोजेस सम स्पेशल एडवांटेज ओवर अदर सोलवेंट एज ए रिएक्शन It has low boiling point, and this allows it easy evaporation and therefore removal from the reaction mixture. And second, it has low melting point, and therefore it allows reaction to be carried out at low temperature. Third, liquid SO two is an inert solvent. Fourth, it has unusual solvating power for both covalent and electrovalent compound. It is a better medium for covalent compounds like hydrocarbon, and is used for the purification of some petroleum product. Sixth, it is used as a diluent for the super acid medium, which help in reducing its viscosity without affecting its acidity thank you